guys, it's Kaylee here. I've been doing a little acid etching on my knives the last couple of days. And um, I already did one on my Kershaw half ton. It didn't come out so great, so I'm not even going to bother showing you guys that. But I did this on my little browning Skinner knife. And it came out okay. I'm not crazy about it. But it's alright. But anyways, I just did this, and I think it's going to come out really nice. I did like a kind of splattered effect. So I think that'll come out really cool. But basically what you want to do is you want to take some fingernail polish and you want to make sure that you put it on the edge really well do a thick coating of it because you don't want the acid to eat away at the edge and then you can just do any kind of design that you want so that's basically what I came up with like I said I think it'll come out really cool so I got this at Radio Shack it's just PCB etchant solution and um, it was like 12 bucks so basically you want to make sure that you take all the safety precautions I'm outside so it's nice and ventilated um, so you don't have to worry about the fumes or anything, but if you do it inside, you want to make sure that you wear a mask, and um, you always want to make sure you have gloves on, too, just to be on the safe side. So, normally what you would want to do is take off the handles and stuff, but I'm just going to put this in like this. I did the solution low enough where I can just set it in, and um, it won't touch the handles or anything. So, basically what I'm going to do is just put it in and then wait. Um, it, you really just want to keep an eye on it, and wait until it gets as um, as dark as you want it to get so maybe like 10, 15, 20 minutes tops so I'll put it in and let it wait and then I'm gonna pause the video and then uh, when I'm all done I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like okay so I'm just gonna carefully put that in there let it rest you wanna make sure that it doesn't hit the handle at all because the acid will eat away at the handle so that should be good so you guys can see. And I'm just going to let it sit in there for a little bit. So I'll pause my video and then I'll unpause it in a couple of minutes and let you guys see what it looks like, okay? Okay guys, I'm back. So, after you get it to the darkness that you'd like, what you do is you go inside and you rinse it under cold water for like 30 seconds and that way it'll stop the acid from working. So basically, after you do that, what you want to do is get nail polish remover. And I just put this in a little pill bottle so it'd be easy. Just dunk it in. And then grab some paper towels. And then you just wipe it off gently. I think this is going to come out really nice. It looks pretty cool so far. If you want to get up nice and close here, you can take a really good look. See how it's turning out so far. Looks pretty cool. I'm really excited. My last two didn't come out too great. <laughs> Alright. So that acid too, I guess I should mention, it's pretty flammable. So you want to make sure you're really careful. Look at that, it's coming out pretty cool so far. I like it. Nice. That looks so awesome. That looks way better than the last couple that I did. <laughs> Can you see it pretty good? It looks so much nicer. Awesome. Cool. So I guess that's pretty much it. Is there anything else that I forgot to mention? All right, nice. Yeah, so check it out. Very cool. All right, hopefully that was helpful. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.